you ready to go? Let's go. We're off to Mesa Verde, this national park I didn't even know existed. And according to my Google Maps, it's only three minutes from where I'm at right now. So that's really cool. I didn't even know it was there. Like, well, I knew it was there after I got here <laughs> and I saw it on the map, but I didn't know it existed before then. So off we go to Mesa Verde. So we're in you guys and apparently this national park is supposed to have some of the largest like uh, cave dwelling like super old architecture I'm pretty excited <laughs> I like did not know this was here we're gonna learn some things today it's exciting In 50 feet, turn right onto Mesa Top Ruins Road. Take the next right onto Mesa Top Ruins Road. Continue on Mesa Top Ruins Road for six miles.
It's so crazy that somebody used to live in that. That's so nuts.
Well, you guys, my plans have changed again. I decided to stop by the campground that they have. It's called Moorfield Campground, just to check it out. I thought it was closed. Actually, I was just gonna drive through just to see it, um, but it was open. They have one loop open. It's, uh, frick, I already forgot what it was called. Pueblo Loop, I'm pretty sure. Don't take my word on that, but it was open and it's only $20 for off season. And so I decided, you know what? Why not stay at the campground? Originally, I was going to leave this area and go do errands and then go to my next spot. But I decided, you know what? When in Rome, right? Or when in Mesa Verde, because I love it here. It is so pretty. The fall colors are very vibrant. It is just gorgeous. I did see a coyote driving in here though, so I'm keeping Joey extra close. But the fact that there was even a national park three minutes from where I was camped at, the random place I chose on Ireverlander, and it happened to be very beautiful and very informative. Like, I had no idea that people lived in caves like, like that. You know what I mean? Like, that was pretty extravagant for 700 AD or whatever. <laughs> that is so crazy. Wow, I'm just in awe. But it was so freaking cool here. I can't wait to come back and spend more time. I had no idea this existed. I seriously felt like we took a step back in time when we came here. It's just crazy. Like, I, I don't know. It's, like, hard to grasp that much time passing. It's just, wow. And people, like built these extravagant cities inside of like a cave on a cliff like it's just insane but this is so beautiful I didn't want to leave so I decided to camp here why not anyways I'm going to leave here in the morning and go do those errands I was talking about and then it's on to the next adventure so thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe below. I'll also put a link for my Patreon in the description box in case you're interested in checking that out and helping support my channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! You guys will never believe what just happened. So, I was staying at that campground and uh, apparently they were finished with camping. And so the park ranger kicked me out and said, oh yeah, third party company manages this campground, which is the same thing that my campground people, when I was a camp host, we were a third party that managed campgrounds. So I totally understand that. But the problem was that he couldn't get me my cash back. So I have to call these people and be like, hey, what the heck? Anyways, that's not even the best part. Because I got two miles outside of the National Park and my freaking engine started smoking. And so now I'm waiting for a tow. And they're taking me to Durango. I'm still going to say goodbye for now. And uh, I'll put the updates in the next video. Bye.